Hey y'all, your girl Shay is back after a long recovery of ACL and MCL surgery. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know how it was. So let's go ahead and get into it. Guess what, you guys? Your girl is cleared to ride. The doctor has cleared me. He was like, you know, just take your time. Be careful when you come to the stops. Be careful when you get on and off the bike. And pretty much treat it as when I first injured myself. Um, same way. So it's been seven weeks. And this is my first time in seven weeks riding my bike. And y'all are about to see. I'm a little nervous because it's been so long and in my mind I'm like dang I forgot how to ride but I'm like Shay as soon as you get on the bike I feel like it's gonna become muscle memory so we should be good but y'all about to see this DJ is meeting me because um, I was a little nervous riding all the way to Durham by myself so your girls pulling up on your girl to make sure I'm good that's love right there if y'all don't have no friend like that, then y'all need to get new friends. <laughs> this girl always looking out for me. I'm super excited and I'm nervous at the same time. It's cold outside. It's 29 degrees right now. Girl got heated gloves, heated jacket. I'm prepared. Baby, we ride all year long, okay? Now let's get into it. Oh, shoot. Black Hawk Nation, baby. Get y'all some. If y'all haven't already, like, I don't understand what y'all waiting for, but go ahead and get y'all some black out of I don't know about y'all, but your girl is nervous. But I got this. It's gonna be just like muscle memory. So we about to go do community service. So we are about to get into it. Enjoy the ride, you guys. seven weeks and if you know me y'all I ride and I ride all year long and like just being out for the six weeks grit I get it I was getting better and stuff like that but y'all like it was torture for me people say I'm crazy you know I'm just getting better but sitting at home for six weeks while the weather was nice me literally not being able to do anything was torture so I don't mind right now that I'm riding in the below freezing. I don't mind that because this is what I do, y'all. This is all I do. Took me six weeks to get off the crutches, get off the brace, walk unsupported. Um, first two weeks was the toughest. Didn't want to do anything. I didn't even want to use the bathroom. I didn't want to eat. I couldn't move, y'all. Like it was just agonizing pain that I literally just had to tough out and thug it out um, week three was easier um, and then on week five that's when I was on one crutch and one brace so trying to get back to the balance and bearing a little bit more weight on my left leg and then week six is when they were like all right take off your brace take off your no more crutches you're good and I had a little limp going on I had the limp going on for about two days and after that I was walking regular still got to watch how I step still have to um, I can't jump can't pivot so I got to make sure I don't you know damage anymore but um, doctor cleared me to ride once he said that I was like let's go so I'm super excited um, like I said muscle memory wasn't even that bad my god had it in my mind like girl you know how to ride so uh what else can i say i started physical therapy 
four days after the surgery, which was terrible. I had to lay down on my back and I had to lift my leg up, just lift it up. I couldn't even lift it up, y'all. I was struggling, shaking, like literally breaking out into a sweat, just trying to lift my leg up. But as you keep doing it, it got better. It's like I was learning how to walk all over again. But yeah, we're here. DJ should be pulling up here shortly. There she go. Yeah, we out here doing it. We reunited and it fit so good. on our way we're about to go ahead and get some breakfast at a local joint called ugly mug um, pretty good breakfast had some coffee we just had to warm up a little bit before we head out to community service <music> See me trying to back it up with my broke knee. Hey, we doing it though. So we are on our way to community service. We enjoyed our breakfast. Sorry we didn't take any pictures because you already know we like to eat and we was hungry. So yeah, that was the end of that. So riding on the back roads, you run into this issue right here. A tractor is literally taking up both lanes. So we ended up going into one single line formation and we made it work. But yeah, that's how it is in the back roads. So here we are, reunited, riding suicide, what we do best. Be sure to follow Love and Motorcycles. If you love my content, you're going to love her content. So go ahead and follow. ended up catching up with another rider it was going all smooth and gravy until boom we had to slow down immediately y'all I almost hit the bike I almost ended up hitting this car in front of me and I was shell shocked just listen to what I have to say y'all but I'm still shell shocked like look I'm pretty sure y'all already know what I'm saying but I was stuck y'all that scared and terrified me but now we're on our way and we're coasting y'all the traffic was because of those two cars right there Right now we are pulling up to our community service to support our bros and sisters of their winter drive. So here we go, let's take a look. Alright, so we are out here for K9 Raleigh's winter drive. We got some good things for people that's in need. Out here supporting the community, what we do best. K9 Raleigh. Got blankets, got undergarments and stuff like that, hats, gloves, all of that. So we out here. We went ahead and went inside to buy a few items that was needed to donate to the people in need, which is off camera, but here you go. K9 and K92 Raleigh is on the move. And after that, me and DJ decided let's go to Tobacco Road, Harley-Davidson. So here we go. 
So here is Tobacco Road Harley Davidson. When I pulled up, I didn't have any idea that there was gonna be an event going on. There are so many bikes out there and so many vendors. So let's go ahead and take a look. But first, special shout out to my sponsor and the owner of Black Hawk Nation and Regal Eyewear. He is moving my bike for me because your girl handicapped. And you see me in the background right there, this man trying to sell me a helmet. It is lime green and that's my favorite color. So you already know I bought the helmet y'all. I bought it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna dibble dabble and see what this event has for us. As you see, there were so many nice custom bikes out there. There were so many vendors out there. There was food, and we even took a look inside the Harley to see what they have. This is Chris Britt here. This is the man that sold me both of my Harleys, y'all. It's Chris Britt, Tobacco Road, Harley Davidson, Raleigh, North Carolina. Got the sweet Apex Ultra Limited here. You're gonna love that bike. It just came in. Love to get rid of it. Um, come see me. You can you can pick three promos. Let me get them real quick. Okay. Right here. Yeah. I don't I don't want to tell them all. You can put a stage one kit on your bike. Uh, you can put a winter rider package or you get your first three uh, services for free. Okay. Uh, you pick your promo on any brand new bike. So come see us. Only brand new? What about yeah, mine? Brand new, you, know. you know, it's only a year old. Only a year. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chris Britt, y'all. Like I said, he sold me both of my Harleys. While we're taking a look inside of this Harley, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little history. So the first Harley I bought was a 2013 Harley Street Glide, of course. However, after 10 months of having that thing, I ended up upgrading to the 2021 Street Glide Special, which is my current love, Anubis. So yes, that's the little history of my Harley experience. I have always been Street Glide and I will always be Street Glide Nation. However, just so you know, I don't have anything against road glides. I just have my reasons for why I'm sticking Street Glide and Street Glide only. But I will let you know, I do be looking at road glides quite often. So, I mean, it might change in a year or two, but this is where I stand right now. you're catching me looking at this road glide right here this Crayola gray color black everything I just love it even Chris Britt saw me staring at it he was like you might as well go ahead and get it and you know who knows let's see maybe I might get a 2024 one you never know
y'all. This is Stephen Ramsey. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Stephen Ramsey out of Lexington, North Carolina. Um, I have another YouTube channel. If you're into anything, make sure you post it. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Stephen Ramsey with a PH. Go check it out. Make sure you follow our girl here. Hell yeah. I'll go ahead and tag him so y'all can support and follow him. All right, y'all, so that really concludes the video. I've been in this Harley so many times and I'm just now realizing how huge this Harley is. There's literally so much to see. And then when there's an event, there's even more to see. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Definitely stay tuned. I have a few more content coming for you guys. Yes, it's been a while, but we're back and running, y'all. Well, not literally running, but we're running. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time.